Right boys, so we have just got to the office and I wanted to basically speak to you and give you a free product and give you a free niche on how you can be successful. And not a single person on YouTube has spoken about this. So I had this idea this morning, so I was like, right, I need to whip up a video like ASAP and basically give you the source. So this is an untapped market. I can pretty much guarantee you can make money off this and a full-time income and you could basically quit your job. This is not a joke. I'm gonna break this down completely. I'm gonna jump on the computer and I'm gonna be doing some whiteboard breakdowns of explaining to you what this is. Stay with this video because this is pure value. I shit you not, no one has spoken about it. This is a free product and niche for you right now now. And the reason I know this will 100% work is because I understand the market. I've been in e-commerce for eight years. I've done over 4 million in sales and I've exited a company. Listen and take notes. Now, also act on this quick because I guarantee you at least a few people will launch a store related to this and they'll be making money. Let's get into it. So how have I figured this out? So we've got the whiteboard. I'm going to break everything down. What is the easiest way to succeed with dropshipping? Okay. And that would be hitting a market that is not saturated. So this is, this is a good one, man. I'm hyped on this. That comes to the point is why why do so many people promote European dropshipping? Well, they call it the big five, so like USA, UK, Australia, Canada. They're like the big five countries, big Western countries. But then a lot of gurus or dropshipping people always promote EU dropshipping. So selling to like Denmark, Norway, Germany. Germany's a massive market because it's really a lot less competitive because of two things. Why is the European market so much easier to dropship to? The basic strategies of dropshipping work easier than if you were to sell them into the USA. And why is that? So guys, as well as this, if you want to work with me on my team, and basically help you implement these strategies on finding a winning product. Basically, the process is when we're doing our one-to-one -one mentoring and working with you guys, the goal is to find you free products slash stores you can test and basically launch. And we're going to find and work with you to get those products. So we work on finding niches like these, which is obviously untapped. And we work on finding these products that have opportunity that you can build on. Also like long-term branded potential. So this is the sort of thing we get into. Another thing I want to talk about that's within our group. Obviously, I've been in the e-com space for eight years. I'm in the game, right? I have a lot of contacts in the game. So in our group, we've got a private network, one-to-one -one mentoring. I've just partnered up with specialists, right? Because we want to give you guys the highest value. So the contacts I have in my phone, we've organized monthly talks. The guy who is doing Facebook ad talks once per month, he does 20 million per year, managing multiple Facebook ad accounts, scaling multiple brands, doing over 1 million per month and is crushing it. He knows every inside out for Facebook ads, strategy, creatives and funnels and offers. He's going to be talking once per month in our group. This is insane value. As well as that, we've got a Pinterest ad specialist also doing monthly talks. We've got a conversion rate optimization specialist who's also going to be doing talks, basically talking about how you can optimize your website. I love e -com. I've been in the game for ages. I've exited a company, but there are a million people who are better than me at specific things. And I want to build a specialist group where we have absolute killers coming to do talks and speak to people and teach you guys on things that you're never going to see on YouTube for free. Because these guys who crush it do not have a social media presence. They're actually crushing the game. And I know these people, so I'm getting them into the private network and this is something we're implementing. So if you want to be a part of that as well, book a call below. The reason that European dropshipping is a lot less competitive is two things. You've got VAT and then you've got native languages. So the barrier to entry is slightly... I guess slightly harder because you need to translate the store into a different language and you also need to have native speaking ads. As well as this, there's different payment processes. So like, for example, in European countries, you could be using Klarna, Band Contact. There's different types of payment processes rather than just Shopify payments or Stripe payments if you were just selling to the USA. So that is three things that makes these markets less competitive. As well as this, the countries are broken up. So for example, Germany's got around 70 to 80 million people, I think. But like these aren't exact figures, actually. I'm not too sure. But pretty sure Netherlands is like 10 to 20 mil. So the countries are a lot smaller, right? So people don't look to sell to these countries immediately because the market isn't as big as the USA of over 400 million people. But you can still make a massive full-time income from these countries. So if you wanted to scale in Europe, you would have to have multiple native speaking languages per product slash store. So if you were selling a product and you wanted to dominate the European market, you could need five stores in five different languages and five different ad translations, basically, which is more effort. So multiple stores to cover EU. 
because I'm pretty sure the EU has like 400 million people, which is the same as the USA, but it's split up into loads of tiny countries. Switzerland's a good country. Actually, my original store was actually really profitable in Switzerland because they spend a lot of money. They've got high income there. So this is stuff people don't really think about. But this is why people promote EU dropshipping. Obviously, no one ever really talks about the VAT, which is a massive problem. So that's basically 20% of revenue they take. Some countries you can avoid, I think. But I don't know how true that is, to be honest. That's why it's less competitive because you have to make more profit than the VAT, as well as these things as well. So native languages, payment processes are different, and then multiple stores to cover the full EU. So it's a lot more effort, but there are so many people crushing it in the EU market, and it's so much easier to drop ship. So the people I see doing well, drop shipping in Europe countries, their stores are like drop shipping three to five years ago. Basic image ads, basic products, basic websites, and they print because the market is less saturated. So what's the more saturated markets? Obviously, that's the USA, right? Boom. The USA. You can't really see that, but that is the USA. This is the biggest and best market for drop shipping. But what does that equate to? Competition. So it's basically saturated. If you're a first time drop shipper, you're going to have a lot more luck selling to EU countries, including the UK, less competitive. Whereas if you were to start in the USA, you need to be better than everyone else or find something completely untapped. And right now today, I have something completely untapped tapped. I'm going to break it down. Going back to the pr principles of why is the EU market so untapped or so much easier because of these things, less saturated basically. Why does a winning product work when you take it to a new country? So one way of like finding a winning product is taking a winner from the USA and the opportunity you spot is no one is selling it in a European country, including the UK. And you literally just duplicate this USA winning products in to the European Union. So here's a little hack. The USA has a sub niche and sub country within it that no one talks about. And this is super untapped. You can take winning products from the USA with 400 million people and you can input and duplicate it into this sub country within the USA. This is nuggets. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. What is the sub country within the USA? So in 2023, there was about 42 million Spanish speakers in the USA. 42 million. 42 million people speak Spanish in the USA. That is a hidden sub country within the USA, which equates to the size of about two Netherlands put together. A lot of people sell products to the Netherlands and they crush it because it's less competition. But there's brands doing 10 million per year in the Netherlands with a population of around 17 million people. You probably can't see that either. There's brands doing 10, 20 mil per year. 100K per month are doable in the Netherlands, okay? So this is nearly more more than double the size, 42 million people speak Spanish within the USA. How do we market to this secret sub country that no one knows about within the USA? Number one, we're going to take winning products from the USA, which is super easy. You can do product research and find any dropshipping product being marketed to the USA. And we can duplicate this and attack the Spanish speaking market within the USA. I've seen it working. Yes, it's lower numbers, lower AOV products work, but the CPMs are incredibly lower. No one knows about this. It's the pure European dropshipping method in a secret country no one's talking about, ready to be untapped. And there's 42 million people to sell to with money to be made. You're going to want to duplicate winning products from the USA, put them into a Spanish native speaking store. So translate the store into Spanish language. You can use a website called Deepool. Deepool com and then you want to create your ads in Spanish language as well. Then when you're on the Facebook ads, we can target Spanish speaking customers with Facebook and Instagram ads. They can find these users for you. If 42 million people speak Spanish in the USA, 20 to 30 million, them, that is their first language. You are promoting products to people who want to buy in Spanish, but they're living in a country where everything is promoted in English. This is an untapped market and this is actual source that you need to be taking. Duplicate winning products in from the USA market into a Spanish speaking store with Spanish ads and make these products. Yes, they will work. What I would advise is obviously you want an AOV of like 20 to $50. Beauty, fashion, any of these will work. A thing you could do as well, if you could tap into or understand the market of like, what do these Spanish speaking people within the USA like? Fashion, beauty, what are they into? And you can capitalize on that as well. Promote the brand as a Spanish speaking owned American company. So everything is shipped and made or designed within the USA, but you are a Spanish speaking brand. This, I promise you, will convert into a store. So no one on YouTube is doing stuff like this, giving you value. I appreciate if you like, comment, subscribe. If you want to work with our team below, book a call. Peace and love.